different types of that method. But let's start first with the linear math. So uh, let me share. Pakita ka ninyo, class. Yes, miss. Okay. So, we will be discussing least square regression for today. So, by the way, what is least square regression? So, least square regression um, class, it is a method. It is a mathematical technique wherein it allows the anal analyst to determine the best way of fitting a curve on top of a chart of data points. It is a statistical procedure to find the best, the best fit for a set of data points by minimizing the sum of the offsets or residuals of points from the plotted curve. Okay. It's like um, before we are dealing with finding the root, right? Now in the curve fitting technique class, we are more on the best fit of the data or the points given in that problem or in that situation. Daghag points nga gihatag, nga giplot between x and y coordinates, and mangita taog line wherein it could best fit for them nga gamay raog a distance between each other or the sum sa ilaha. Ilaha nga total or sum. So in here, um, ako lang nang gi kuha Kani. Makakita rin mo sa ang cursor? Yes, miss. Okay. So, one way to determine the line that is which best fit is to visually inspect the plotted data and then sketch a best line through the points. Although such eyeball approaches, eyeball means mata-mata approach, have common sense appeal and are valid, for the back of the envelope calculation, they are deficient because they are arbitrary. That is, unless the points define a perfect straight line, which in case interpolation would be appropriate, but we are not dealing with appropriate interpolation, I mean. Right now, we are dealing with regression. So that is, unless the points define a perfect straight line, different analysis would draw different line. Now, to remove this subjectivity, some criteria must be devised to establish a basis for, for the fit. One way for that is using the least square regression. Now, for the least square regression, we have the first step for that, which is the linear. Okay. Now, for the linear, the simplest example of least square approximation is fitting a straight line, linear, to set a to a set of paired observation. We have the first pair, x1, y1, x2, y2, and so on and so forth. The mathematical expression for the straight line is, we have the equation or the mathematical expression, y equals a0, a sub 0, plus a sub 1 times x plus e. Now we have here this set of data or points. We have this in figure a. We can see here, muna siya ang mga points. Now, in letter B class, this is polynomial fit oscillating beyond the range of the data. Oscillating mo siya, so it's not on a straight line. Given this data, nag-oscillate siya 
no ang nagsigita ang approximate or arte rate nagdagan siya diha dagan hangtod makunta tani nga second nga point given here and so on and so forth now for the letter C this is the result for the least square fit diba ang gimin sa tong least square um, regression is we can draw a line wherein it best fit for our data. Now, in here, this is our data, kana mga dot dot here, right? Now, we cannot do, dili man ta, can I draw here? Yeah. Muna siya ang data here, dili lang ta ang data. Matamata nga pagka butang. Dili man ta pwede mo yung inana ang line, right? Dahil lagyo ra kay siya, dili siya um, tugma sa ito ang nga data. How about, for example, may siya may race, sorry. Miss, what if ano? It can be, but ang maigo ra, gamay ra. And dagan siya o, dako, I mean, dako siya o, distance sa iyang residual. Now, what if in ani? Uh, in anina siya. So this is a more satisfactory result using the least square fit. Tiri siya, gipato nga, wherein kung diha ang atong regression line, that is called regression line, okay? Doon na siya, di ba? Um, balance ang iyang pagkabutang between those data points. Dili pa rin sa itong giana na to. Di pa sa itong giana, di pa sa itong giana. Kaya layo radyo kayo siya. So far, nakasabot na ba sa mga figures? Hello? Sabot na Okay. Now, in here, I have already mentioned the mathematical expression for the straight line. We have here 1 equals a sub- 0 plus a sub 1 x plus e where this a sub 0 and a sub 1 are coefficients representing the intercept and the slope respectively and e is the error here that is the error can you enter e diri excuse me or residual. So this is between the model and the observation. Now this is the model and this is our observation. Ato siyang gamata-mata nga. Pagbutang sa yung best fit nga line. Which can be represented by rearranging the um, previous equation. Atong ipagawa si error or si residual. It will provide us with y minus a sub 0 minus a sub 1 times x. Thus, the error or residual is the discrepancy between the true value and the approximate value a sub 0 plus a sub 1 x predicted by the linear equation. Now, we have here next the criteria for a best fit. Hmm. Now, one strategy for fitting a best line through the data would be to minimize the sum of the residual errors for all the available data as in, here we have the summation of our equation E, error, right? Where I is from 1 up to N, we're in the total number of points. Now, atong E, di ba atong E there is Y here, Y minus A sub 0 minus A sub 1 X. Now, we are dealing with our initial man nga y. Here. Magdagan mo na siya. So, that is y i minus a sub 0 minus a sub 1 x i. Okay. Where n is total number of points. However, this is an inadequate criterion as illustrated in this figure which depicts a fit of a straight line between two points. Obviously, the best fit is the line connecting the points. However, yes, fit here, right? Because 
nara siya in between two points. Wala na siya mga residual nga lain. Now, however, any straight line passing through the midpoint of the line results to a minimum value equal to zero because the errors cancel. Therefore, another logical criterion must might be minimized to sum, might be to minimize the sum of the absolute value of the discrepancies. In here, since dili, um, dili man siya convenient nga gamiton to find for the best fit, nagbuhat sila og lain. This is the other equation, right? It is on absolute value. But it's still falling with, uh, it still narrow down to um, naalagyan po siya yung mga pan or mga discrepancies. But so therefore, sila gibuhat na third strategy which is the minimax criterion. The minimax criterion here, this is Oh no, this is um let her see this is yes. This is the um result of our minimax criterion. Na fall yapon sha. Okay, na fall yapon sha straight line sa itong data points but looking at here, ang atong outlier or atong residual is very far from those points. So, nagyapon siya upon or discrepancies. So, a strategy that overcomes the shortcoming of the aforementioned approaches from those three strategies is to minimize the sum of the squares outlier. of the residuals between the measured y and the y calculated with the linear model. We have here SR Okay, equals to the summation of our yi measured minus yr, which is yi, which is the model, squared. And since this is our e, diba? Mora man siya, gi-square lang na siya. And this criterion has a number of advantages, including the fact that it yields a unique line for a given set of data. Now, we have here next the least square fit of a straight line. To determine the values for the a sub 0 and a sub 1, um, equation 17.3 here or here, same na sila, okay, is differentiated with respect to each coefficient. We have here the partial differentiation of SR divided by the partial differentiation of our a sub zero is equals to negative two summation of our e All right now for this for our a sub one gipon na siya dari old x sub i since nagdaganang na siya now after all those derivation this here is called our normal equation okay we have here a sub one which is okay. our n multiplied by the sum or the total of our x sub i multiplied by our y sub i minus the um, summation of our x sub i Zero. multiplied so, by the summation of our y sub i divided by n multiplied by our summation of our x sub i squared minus the summation of our x sub i ngagi squared. Kasabot mo sa difference. In here, summation siya sa x sub i squared tanan. Gi square si x sub i, x sub i, x sub i kada term, then gi sum sila tanan. Now, in here, this is the summation of our x sub i. Gi sum tanan si x sub i, ang sum na x sub i, gi square. Follow? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay. This result can be then used in conjunction with Equation 17.4 to solve our A sub O equal to Y bar, Y hat, say basa sa uban. Um, in some sources, ang tawag nila is Y bar, some of that is hat. But ang hat is, anak man to ang hat, mura siya, uh, triangle, ano ba? Hat yun siya, literal. Ano? But, I call that y bar, okay, minus a sub 1 x bar, where x, y bar and x bar are the means of y and x, respectively. 
Okay. Now, in here, atong A1 class, mura na na siya o ato uh, ang slope M. Okay. Remember our slope uh, formula? We have our, siya mo itong slope? Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. Okay. And our A sub O equals Y bar minus um, A1 X. It is, ang form na niya class is, pag draw it. It is. Are you familiar with our equation of our line? Y equals mx plus b. This one. my race. Now, to what they call this to rearrange. Yaman na siya. Y. Mura na siya ang form niya plus. Okay, where Y bar and X bar are the means of our Y and X respectively. Now, going here with the quantification of error in linear regression, this is our. Error, right? And this is our um, in here. This is the last strategy na ginahimo nila para mugamay ang square sa uh, mugamay ang sum sa square sa atong residual. Now, from that equation, okay, maka kuha taog standard deviation because there are some criteria met what are those criteria the first criteria is to is where the spread of the points around the line is of similar magnitude along the entire range of the data and two, the distribution of these points about the line is normal normal remember our first figure we're in here, here, right? Dili siya katag. Dili pareha sa uban. We don't have any um, in here. Although, uh, that's not a good example. Basta, katag siya class, that's considered not normal. May nung itag normal, um, distance nila is gamayra. Okay? Now, for the first is the spread of the points around the line of the similar magnitude along the entire range of data, meaning magka, um, padayon kita sa atong regression or sa atong uh, solution, dili magka, um, layo ilang iyang magnitude. This is our magnitude and this is our height man. Okay? Now, if those two criteria are met, then we can have this standard error of the estimate, wherein, it is represented by S sub Y over X. Okay. It, it is equal to the square root of S sub R divided by N minus 2. Wherein our S sub R is the sum here. The sum of the squares of the residuals around the regression. And N is the number of points or data. Okay. Now, aside from that, we have the formula here, R squared, which is ST minus SR divided by SD. R squared is called the coefficient of determination. And we have R is called correlation of coefficient. Now, for the SD, what is SD? SD stands for the total sum of the squares. Okay, that's SD. Total sum of the squares. Minus SR. Sum to siyang SR. SR is the sum of the squares of the residuals around the regression. 
line divided by SD. Okay. Now, for that is for the formula of our R squared. Now, for the formula of our R, the correlation of coefficient, we have N multiplied by summation of XI multiplied by YI minus the summation of our XI multiplied by the summation of our YI divided by the spirit of N multiplied by the summation of our x sub i squared minus the summation of our x sub i nagi squared multiplied by the square root of n times the summation of our y sub i squared minus summation of our <coughs> y sub i nagi squared. Okay. Now for um, example class we have here. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now we have here fit a straight line to the x and y values in the first two columns of our table 17.1. Now we have here our x and y. We have our x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And we have our given y, i. That is 0 0.5, 2.5, 2, 4, 3.5, 6, and 5.5. And summation nila is 24. Now, for the computation of our error analysis of our linear fit, we will need this for our um, error analysis computation. Now, to start, fit a straight line. So, we will need to have, hold on. long Okay, guys. So fit a straight line to the x and y values in the first two columns of our table 17.1. Okay, now we have here our table. Now we need to do the uh, fitting a straight line or finding the best fit given a number of points and our y sub i. Now, in order for us to do so, we must find or we must find the values for our equation of our straight line. The bottom equation of our line is y equals 
sum of them. Y equals mx plus b. Diba? Sakto ba kukas? Work our y. Y, y, y. Is our a1x plus a0. Okay. Now we need to find our a1. Now in order for us to find our a1, remember the formula of our a1. Ako lai ka para... Where is it? Now, that is the formula of our A1N multiplied by the summation of our X sub I, Y I, right? That is our um, formula of our A1. But we don't have the summation of those formulas first. Uh, wala pa tayo summation, anak nila nga mga tagi-tagi um, nga formula. So, we need to find first in here. Magitaram sa concursor, di ba git times niya first c x i o c y i. Dayon iyangi total. So we need to find x i. I don't want block. Let's do blue. X, Y, Y, Y. Okay. Uh, calculate with me. 1 times 0 0.5. That's 0 0.5. Uh, sentimental and That's 0 0.5. We solve more up, huh? So, 2.5 times 2. That's five. Let me put it on my tablet. Then that's six. Two times three, six. Four times four, sixteen. Chakto ba ko? Ako malibat, no? And then, 3.5 times 5. Pag-calculate mo di ako sa akin, basta malibat ko. 17.5 and then 6 times 6, 36. And then, 5.5 times 7. That's 38.5. And to sum all of those, so that's 0.5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 16 plus 17.5 plus 36 plus 38.5. 119.5. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now we need to do for next is our nanaman uh, nanataani right nanataani nanataani here momanisha send it in our oh, patay summation sa our ato x sub i one momanisha that's twenty four. 
28. Sakto ba ko? 28? This is 28. Sana na ta sa summation of our x sub i. Ito ang summation sa itong y sub i. Naana po. This one here. 24. And next is the summation of x sub i squared. X sub i squared. So that's 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 140. Ano yung rabatang answer? O nag-solve pa mo? Are you still with me? Same, Ramis. Okay. Good. And since complete naman, na natay summation of. Awesome. Summation sa atong x sub i squared and summation sa atong x sub i ng squared. So that's 28 squared. That's 784. 78. Okay. So we can solve our A1, right? So we will solve our A on the here. Nanadegi solve the day. So that's N. Pilaman ka bukatong N. That's 7, right? 7 times. Summation sa atong x sub i multiply by y sub i here. Diba? Muna ito man yung multiply. Then give some money here. Minus summation sa atong x sub i alone. That is 28. So this is 28. Multiplied by summation sa atong y i. This is 24. So this should be 24. Okay. Divided by n. N is 7. Summation sa atong x sub i squared. That's 140 minus summation sa g squared na x sub i. I mean, squared sa summation sa x sub i. Here, 784. So that would yield 0.8392857. Now, for our a sub o, Y I Y bar in here atong A sub O has a formula. Uh, I mean Y bar it has a formula of Y I divided by N Y over N na siya. Y bar na siya ang X bar na to is X. Summation niya ba? Kafalo, Ramoklas? In. I'm not sure. So since we already get the Y bar, that's 3.428571 minus our A1 na nakuha this one. Multiplied by our x bar, which is 4. So that's our a sub o. 0 0.0714285. Now, to do the y equals mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. Bali na siya ka sa basin malibat mo ba? Nadari si MX. Muna si B. Okay? 
Atong M here, di ba? Ang M na to is kafalura mo. Here, atong M is our A1. Nakafalura mo, class? Yes, miss. Okay. Atong M here is A1. Ang sama atong A1. Di ba? Kani atong A1. So, ibutang na to siya dere. Ang ihamagong form dere is y equals b plus mx. So, kung ato yung mutang y equals mx plus b, so this is our a1x plus our o0, which is 0.07142857. That is our least square fit after the um, computation. Now, kung sa'y gamit ani, Magamit na siya class with the... Hindi na yun. Ito ako sa i-copy. Computation of our S... Y... S sub Y minus over X. Ang atong R squared and our R. Okay. Now, to compute those... Those are the estimations of errors for the linear least square fit. So we were going to find, let me put here, we're going to find S Y, S Y over X, R squared, and R. S Y class is our um, standard deviation. And ang atong standard deviation is having a formula of square root of Now, Gamera. We're going to find SY, SY over X, R squared, and R. That, those are the computations. Here, ba? Computations for our error analysis of the linear feed. Now, SY is our standard deviation. With the formula of square root of I forgot the formula. Uh, is it n or n minus? N minus 1. 1, 2, 1, 1. So it is square root of SD over N minus 1. And we have our X sub Y standard error of the estimate it is a formula of SR shade two. SR divided by N minus 2. Okay. 
Now, atong um, SR class, this one is our SR. Naraman mo i kopya sa ako, ano? Or ako lang iso, what mo sa mini sa SR? Sum of the squares of our regression line. SD is the total sum sum of the squares. Okay. SD is for the total sum of the squares. We this is here. You can oops. This is the total sum of the squares, and our SR is the sum of the squares of the residuals around the regression here. This 2.9911 nga summation. Okay. And the SD is the summation of this. Okay. Muna siyang formula sa atong SY o atong X sub YX. Now for our R squared. Sige itong R squared. <coughs> coefficient of determination. Yes. And what R is correlation of coefficient. Correlation coefficient. Now, for the formula of over R squared, that is ST minus SR divided by ST. And the correlation coefficient, that is R squared, square root of R squared, or Can you still see my screen? Yes, miss. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now that is R. Formula sa tong R. It's either square root of R squared or R. N, summation of X sub I, Y sub I minus summation of X sub I multiplied by the summation of our I I. Divided by the square root of n multiplied by the summation of over x sub i squared minus the summation of over x sub i nga squared multiplied by the square root of n times the summation of over y sub i squared minus the summation of over y sub i nga squared. <clears throat> now to find with our S Y, we need our S T, and our S T is already given. Nagyon sa manisha pukoha. Now we have here <clears throat> Y I. We have our Y I. Mo naman siya yung formula given here. Y I minus Y bar squared. Let's try to solve it. Yi, that's 0 
and y bar is 3.428571. So that's 8.5765, all right? And for the second, that's 2.5. It's still the same y bar. So that would give us 0 0.8622. And for the third one, that's 2.0. So that's 2.0408. Next is 4. So that's 0 0.3265. 31102. Next is 3.5. That's 0. 00510 to 102. Okay. Now for the six, that's six point six one two two four seven one zero two. Kafalo ramo class. Given naman na ang formula diya. Class, still following. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay. Now for the last one, that's 5.5. So that's 4.2908181102. Gikatra siya. To five significant figures, including the left or before is a period or point. Now for our SR which is the sum of the squares of the residuals around the regression line. Wait a class. Okay, more. Now for our SR, YI minus A sub 0 minus A1 XI squared. Now let's try that one. Y, A squared. YI, that's 0 0.5. A sub O. That's 0 0.071, 428, 428, 57. And our A sub 1 as 0 0.839, And our X sub I, that's 1. So that is 1.1686862116. 1 is Katrania. Or we round off for decimal places 0.1687. Now for the second one, yi is 2.5. You calculate mo diha para kasunod mo. Yes, miss. Okay. Now for the second one, that's 0 0.5625000045. For decimal basis, that's 0.5625. Now for the third one, y is 2. And that would give us.
Okay, sorry for waiting. Nag-solve mo diha, Kas. So that is for the third. That's 0 0.347257 6009. Okay. That's 3473. Next is. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's 0.3265. Okay, that's. Um, next. Nakafollow na mo wala. Nag-solve mo wala. Nag-solve, miss. Okay, how about the fifth? That's 3.5. So that's 0 0.58960447799. And next, that would be... Point seven nine seven two, and the last one would be point one nine nine three, and the sum of that is two point nine nine one one. Now that is our SR. So, makuha na nato si SY. Asan tamang So. S Y equals Will you copy Lani? One point nine four five six nine one eight two two miss. Ana, sakto ba? Yes, miss. Okay. <laughs> Next is our S Y. That's two point. Nine nine one one divided by seven minus two. Your point seven seven three four five miss. Three four five. Seven, three. Now for our R squared, that's ST. So 22.71, uh, I mean. 7143 minus 2.9911 divided by 22.7143. This is... 0 0.86832 0 0.86 mm. Okay, now not the R squared. Now for our R Square root of knee, 0 0.86832. So that would be 0 0.9.
Do we have the same answers? Yes, miss. Eight, three, four. Oh, okay. Eight, three, four. Get an usher. Eight three four. Now let's try to solve it using the longer one. Let's try us if parihara basila. <laughs> N seven times away okay, pambo goes on summation of so that's nineteen point five minus summation of x sub i that's twenty eight multiplied by summation of y sub i that's twenty four. And that's square root of seven times x sub i squared one forty minus seven eight four n times twenty four. Oh no. Yes, 24 squared. Five seven six. Wala pa tayo y sub i, no? Are you solving on your end, Gus? So, gano'y ito ang end, miss? Seven. Number of points. Three point five six. I wait sixteen. Sixteen, but in it In the class, 12.25, right? Tutu ba? Yes, please. 30.25. So that's 0.25 plus 6.25 plus 4 plus 16 plus 12.25 plus 36 plus 30.25. 105. 
try to solve plus. Basin sa'yo po pagka-input. Same, Ramis. Okay, 105. So, in here, this is... Nadelete pa siya na ako. Na-try na, i-input daw ninyo dere. This is 576. Six. 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 Seven times one oh five minus five seven six. Point nine three one eight three four day. Do you have the same answer? Okay, so let's see. So that's seven times. Oh, seven times one nineteen point five minus twenty eight times 24 divided by summation uh, uh, summation I mean square root of 7 times 140 minus 784 multiplied by Seven times one oh five minus five seven six. That's still zero point nine three one eight four. Same remis. Okay, that's good. Muna siya sa um, linear regression class. No? We will use our slope, which is our A1, and our line equation, which is our um, y equals mx plus b, and also the computation for our error analysis of the linear fit. Those are for the, um, so far, the linear um regression now uh, we will not be proceeding sa nonlinear sa i will be giving another example in order for us to absorb the idea and the process okay let me try to find where is it Do you have any question? Well, I need to Fit a straight line. Uh, not this one. Uh, let's try this one. Ako lang ilisan o number. Try to solve on your end also, Kasa, para ma-absorb sa inyo, ha? Auto ang uh, process.
Uh, try that one. Fit a straight line. You're supposed to graph it also, man, class, but uh, you know how to graph, man, diba? Class? Okay. Yes. But maglisod mangutag graph ani kay oh gagmay kaayo 8.57 0 0.1687 so maybe um if mahimo magraph nin mapagraph mo kon inyo but if not if gagmay ra ka kay mga number dili na lang so let's try this one okay do it on your end daw Do you have the copies of the formulas here? Yeah. There must be no. Yeah. <laughs> Insert. I don't think. Zero point six. Next solve, Modiha. Yes, Miss Zero Point Thirty Six. Okay. 
Why I zero point six? Why bar? <laughs> oh, but it is amazing. Fifteen zero point six two point four seventeen Fifty-five. Seventy-three point nine. But I will check us. Same room as. Okay. Why I minus Y bar? Tanako the formula. Seventy 
summation of our right i is 17 divided by 5. This would be We have the same answers. <clears throat> yes, we say we same Ramis. Okay. One, two, three, four, seven. So our remaining one is <clears throat> In here, yi minus ao. Wala pa tayo ao. So, our ao So the formula of our A1, N times S. X sub I times Y sub I minus summation of X, Y times summation of Y sub I over N summation of X, Y squared. Minus the quantity of summation x sub i, yeah, close parenthesis, yeah, squared this. One? Yes, miss. Okay. Hold on. Okay. 
Sekarang bapas. So that's seven. Ah, seven. Five. Fifteen squared. Fifteen squared. One point twenty six. Nag-solve bang uban? Yes, miss. 1.26. Yes, miss. 1.26. How about our A sub 0 or AO? Ilan akas? Negative zero point thirty eight, miss. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, padahal yun lang said mong solve class. Yung basin mag-una pa muna ako. Okay. I I minus point thirty eight minus E one. X I. Seven. Standard. 
Are you ready to answer? Zero four eight four two two four zero. So for the standard deviation, are you done with the standard deviation or computation for the error analysis class? Well, permission. Okay. ST sixteen point one minus SR zero point two two forty divided by sixteen point one. This would be We have the same answer, class. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay. Have you tried to 
sov o so sa R nga katong tasong formula. Here. Oh, we tried. Wala pa. Wala pa. Okay, let's try. Fifty five. Wow. <laughs> Why I Will I answer any class? Is it the same? Same is same, ra. Yeah. Point twenty one. Mm. I don't get minus now. Multiplication. Okay. Wait. Zero point nine nine three zero. How about the others? Same remit. Same remit. Okay. So far, nakasunod ra ba mo? Class? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That ends my discussion, class. Okay. Now, what you will be doing is para natay activity or natay output para sa atong semi-final na period, I will let you answer this one, okay? And pila minisya ko to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ano lang minisya isa lahat? Long size band paper, newspaper, newsprint paper, or yellow pad paper. Okay.
Six Botong ta Aku sama buat aku isam pa. Okay, let's move. Anak kelas. Isan lang ko niya sa GC? Or dari na lang? Hello. Sa so, JC lang, miss. Okay, na JC. Okay, done. And let me just save this one. Do you have any questions, class? In uh, before we end this um, room, karena saya deadline nanti malam. Next week, Wednesday. Yes. And after you answer this today. I want you to, uh, within this day lang, uh, ko ano na, picture, send a picture sa atong GC. Nga nahuman mo, okay? Pag-study pa may full egg, ma'am. Ha? Pag-study pa may full egg. For... So, oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. I can just send it na lang next week. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, if you don't have questions, um, you can check it out. Really, you know, out of <laughs> Miss, pwede mo pasenda ng... Yes, po, isen. Hold on, hold on. Thank you. Ay, Miss, sa second, kato example, Miss, pa. Katong 3,000 something, kadili, dahil ito 55, ya, Miss? Say 3,000. 3,025. Come on. Katong sa second example, Miss. Me? Kala tira, Miss. Okay, squared na po yung 55. Ah, yes. That's gonna say 5,000, Miss Katie. Lady, na 73.9 na.
Hmm. Summation naman din, you know? Ako sa Erison. Uh, uy, na-erista na. Hold on. Okay. Summation sa xi squared. So, that's 55. And this one, summation sa 73.9. Kana? Yes, miss. Kaya lahi mo na mga gawas, please, kung katong daan. Oh, wala mo sa kugatan ako niya pag-solve. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Do you have any nabantayan? Ako sa ito, i-delete. Pick a button. Nga sa'yo. Notes, notes, notes. Mm. A touch file notes. Okay. Nasanda na ko class. And if you don't have any questions, you can freely leave them. Have a happy lunch. And Bye, Miss. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Bye, 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 Miss. Bye,